Matchless Love, September 16th And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. John 17, verse 22 and 23. Oh, what love! What matchless love! Fallen human beings may become so closely united with Christ that they are glorified with him. On this earth, they have followed in his footsteps, laboring as he labored for the souls for whom he died. And when he comes to claim his own, they enter into his joy, sitting with him at his table in his kingdom. Where I am, he says, There shall also my servant be. John 12 verse 26 What a wonderful thought it is that we, poor, fallen sinners, can become one with Christ, partakers of his divine nature, through his grace, refined, purified, glorified. We may overcome and sit down with Christ. We are to be conformed to his image. He loves and he will help us. We are to be passive in his hands. We have his promise. We hold the title deeds to the real estate in the kingdom of glory. Never were title deeds drawn upon more strictly according to law or signed more legibly than those that give God's people a right to the heavenly mansions. Let not your heart be troubled, Christ says. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may also be.